Hey, ma'am. Hi. Officer Jones here. Well, let's not judge her too harshly. Maybe she's an Aussie still suffering from jet lag. So the, the attendant at the uh, drive through uh -huh. was, was concerned about your well-being. He thought you might be impaired or under the influence of something. No, I don't understand. So. You don't understand what? Well, why have you told that? So. Man, you realize your sunglasses are on upside down? Really? Yeah, they're upside down. Well, is that against the law, officer? I mean, maybe it's a fashion statement. <laughs> what? How? What? This is the end of that sentence. I have nothing to say to that. Look at me real fast. Okay. Have you consumed any sort of alcohol? No, I've been home at my son. Yeah. Okay, so no alcohol tonight. No. What exactly do you mean, officer, by tonight? It's clearly during the day. Late afternoon, even. Now, if it was tonight and she was wearing her sunglasses upside down, I would have a problem with that. <laughs> what the hell was that even? Okay. Any sort of narcotic? No. no. Do we do any sort of narcotics? No. No? Do you have your ID on you, ma'am? I believe that you consume alcohol. Mm -hmm. Smell that. There's the odor of an alcoholic beverage coming from your person. All right. Mm -hmm. So, I want to have you go through these tests, all right? When you call the tip of my pen, it's it's my pen only with your eyes and your eyes only, all right? Now let's have a prediction here. On a scale of oi to what are we going to rate her dance? Make sure to leave a comment down below and uh, we're going to find out. Uh -huh. What do you mean that's not a scale? It's a very creative scale, and as long as they're within the TOS of YouTube, uh, we're going to be fine. Right? Hey, I need you to look at my pen and my pen only. Fall with your eyes, alright? Don't move your head. No, I, I, I can't explain to you. There, there was odor of not all efforts coming from your person. Okay. Now, the drive through I pulled up, he said, I believe she's intoxicated. You need to go check on her. Okay. okay. I'll talk to you. I asked for your ID twice. I spent time digging around in a paper bag or correction plastic bag. We weren't able to follow simple commands. Okay. No, I get that. All right. So that, that's why we're going through these tests to ensure that you're safe and okay that you can drive. Okay. Yeah, I literally live like two seconds away. Ha! Rookie mistake. It's two blocks away or two minutes away from home. I mean, how fast are you gonna drive? <laughs> I guess she's 10 seconds away depending on weather conditions. You got this all turned around. It's not how far away from home you are, it's how long you have been boozing while cruising. It's like bloody politicians talking about, we're only gonna look to the future, but all the mess you made. Uh, uh, is that not your performance report? In, in other words, you're fired. It doesn't matter if you live two seconds away or two miles away. My job is to keep everybody else and you safe. See, the officer knows about the twos. So, last night, do you think you'll be able to do this test or do your hip replacements prevent you from walking in a straight line? No, they're absolutely, like, can't like, prove that. But... You, what's going to prove that? I have hip replacements. Yeah, I, I get that. But will they prevent you from walking in a straight line? Probably, yeah. Okay. Would your hip replacements prevent you from standing on one foot for 30 seconds? Okay. I don't know. Can you come stay with her? Can I talk to you? Hi, hi officer, I, I also have a question. Does her hip replacement prevent her from using a breathalyzer test? I mean, the only thing that is actually acceptable from your little dance there of sobriety, uh, the eye test. The rest? Well, it's literally depending on environmental and weather conditions. So, where's your control? Ma'am, have you been drinking today? Not at all. Why do you have an alcoholic beverage on your seat then? I have drink, but... 
So did you have like two of those today or three of them? Or how many of those today have you had? I'll do like two. You had two of those today? Oh. What time? Wait, I'm not going to lie, so. No, you're fine. Uh, what time did you start drinking? Um, probably like 11 this morning. 11 this morning, okay. Do you know what time it is now? No. No. You had to guess what time you think it is. You know, for normal people, this is late afternoon. But if you start your boozing before lunch, I guess this is now time for another drink, huh? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. A.M., P.M.? Yeah. Which one? A.M. You think it's 11 o'clock A.M.? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> did you have a blackout? <laughs> what, what the? <laughs> that is impressive. For all the booze and reasons. Okay. What if I told you it's 5.30 P.M.? I've been with my mom, so I don't know. Yeah, okay. Wow, she's not even shocked at the fact she lost about six to potentially seven hours. Alright. Um, so you, you said you started drinking those at what time? Like 11. Started drinking around 11? Yeah. Okay. So on a scale of zero to ten, with zero being you're completely sober and ten being you're pass out puking drunk, where do you think you're at? I don't know, officer. I like my scale better. I too. What? I'm pretty sure she's well beyond. What? Like an 11? So like zero is you're sober, and 10 is you're puking, pass out drunk. No, I've been home, so... Yeah, but you're an 11 uh, at the moment, so... Uh, what? I don't think she understood the 1 to 10. See, this is why I count in Mississippi's. Oh, I'm just saying, where do you, right now, where do you think you're at on that scale? From zero to 10? Like an 11? Okay. So I, where you live doesn't really affect whether or not you're, you're able to drive. Ah, but it could potentially have an influence on the time zone difference. I mean, she lost about six to seven hours, which could potentially put her in the Australian time zone. How she got here? Well, she's only 10 seconds away from home, so she drives really fast. And now that I have solved all the problems in the entire traffic stop here, I, I think you have to let her go. That's how it works, right? <laughs> what do you mean, or not? Okay. So, is English your first language? Yes. Okay, are you comfortable with the alphabet? So, you know the alphabet pretty well? Yeah. Okay. So, if I asked you to start with the letter F and end at the letter T, would you be able to do that? I hope she actually understood that as F N N T. Um, Radical. Yo, what's up? That acronym is a rather unfortunate or fitting one, depending on your context. Oh, here we go. I mean, I wasn't really thinking about it like that. I was just, you know, listening to the wordy bits and uh, that came out. So, what does it mean? Well, it doesn't mean anything officially, but according to Urban Dictionary, it stands for fuck no never that. Something you say to a rather ridiculous question. I see. Well, it does seem rather fitting then, doesn't it? Yup. By the way, I was looking around there some more, as one does. Spiffy! What did you find? It would seem you're on there as well. Radical. But I'll leave that one as an assignment to our spiffies. Making them do work and shit if they want to know. I'll see you around. Hmm. I see. Okay. So, uh, without singing or anything, if you could start with the letter F. Well, that is utter horseshit, officer. You always sing the ABCs. And go all the way through the alphabet to the letter T for me. Can you do that for me? From F. So start with the letter F. So skip the letters before that, and just start with the letter F, and go to the letter T. I guess I could do it. Okay. I don't understand why it's like a huge problem. We're, our concern is that you may be intoxicated. Yeah, and you see, lady, they uh, perform this test on uh, toddlers all the time, and they are never drunk. Or driving. No, I get that. I get that. Okay. Like, my dad was a police officer, okay. so I'm under, you know. So th th this is just another way that we can evaluate whether you're good to drive or not, okay? Right. No, I live literally around the block. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. So are you, are you willing to do the, the alphabet thing for me? Yeah. So start with the letter F and end at the letter T. Okay, so... F... L... L... FBI, we got, we got her, we got her. Arrest her. Everyone, move in. GP. Hello. Over. Now, officer, why did you interrupt this very important test? I mean, this is like distraction central right now. What, what that was, did you actually say? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. What the hell is going on? You can't even do the ABCs. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if you can start with the letter F. 
and go to the letter T in the alphabet. Yeah, T-Q-U-R-S-U-L-O. Okay. Nailed it! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave that in the world. Freaking hilarious, that law crime body cam guy. Uh -huh. Alright, so are you pretty good with numbers and counting? Yeah. Okay, so if I ask you to start with the number 72 and count backwards to the number 51, would you be able to do that? So count backwards from 72 to 51. Yes. Could you try that for me? Yeah, you are. Yeah, I saw so that coming. So you're, you're doing letters. I'm asking for numbers. What so start at 72, the number 72, and count backwards to the number 51. Can you try that for me? Yeah, that could you try it? So say 72. Can you say it? Yeah. Can you say 72? 72. Good. So can we count backwards from that to 51? Probably not. Probably not. You willing to give it a try? No? Well, I, apart from being a drunk driver, uh, I gotta give her props for being honest. Alright, next one, what I want you to do, same, stay in the same position, okay? And what I want you to do is you're gonna lean your head back when I tell you to begin. Alright, you're gonna lean your head back, close your eyes. And what I want you to do is count to 30. All right, what you think is 30 seconds. Okay, so however you get the 30 seconds, doesn't matter how, when you think 30 seconds has passed, I want you to look at me and say stop. Officer, this woman has just lost six to seven hours from her life and she isn't shocked about that. You really think she knows the passage of time in terms of seconds? I mean, we can try, but hey, it's gonna be interesting. I hope for her sake she's counting the Mississippis. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and begin. So just like I instructed, all right? So when I tell you to begin, you're gonna tip, tilt your head back, close your eyes, all right? And when you think 30 seconds has passed, you're gonna look at me and say, stop. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. You may begin when you're ready. Do you know what I instructed you? Yeah. What did I instruct you? To stay silent. Okay. Right, that's not what I said. What, what I said was... Oh, the, I, I mean, we all know what you said, but what the hell did she just say? I'm looking over at my wordy bit book. It doesn't seem those were wordy bits. You stop when I think I'm okay. So. Okay, that's, that's not what I said. I said, when I say begin... Hi. You don't roll your eyes at us, Missy. You might fall over. Tilt your head back, close your eyes, and when you think 30 seconds has passed, you tell me to stop. Okay. Can you tell me those instructions instructions again? What did I just tell you? Tell you when you stop. Okay. What do you do before that? Stop. Okay. Well, technically she is not wrong. She has to stop before she can start. What? I guess she's not going for the rolling start, huh? I mean, clearly she already did a hot lap. No, say it ain't so. She failed the test? Really been? Yeah, little itty bitty rest. Well, that's, that's a bit rude. And that is what we call a game over sound. In the, in the form of a door slam. They dubbed over the door slam. What are you gonna do? So I did this. Is there even a phone in here? She grabbed the TV remotes before she left the house. Her mouth is blue. Oh, well, it's probably these things. She told me she had two of those and that she thought it was, she started drinking at 11 and she thought it was 11 right now. I think she's 23, too. So. Off by six and a half hours. Who called it in? Who? I was at the, the drive-thru getting a can of the dip. The Buckeye drive-thru? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, well, um, if you want to get urine in addition to the breath, because I don't know if the breath is going to show, but I think it's more than alcohol. I think so, too. Do, do breath and urine just to get it. Yep.
Well, I guess you can take the piss and, uh, <laughs> or your regional... Well, in this case, not your regional equivalent. There's no chains involved here. No weirdos. Well, un unless they have a very creative way of hobbling. Shouldn't be really necessary because she is very compliant and apparently a time traveler, according to her own world right now. Uh -huh. Hillary, the, the legal limit is 0 0.08, okay? If you blew a 0 0.34. So well, Mr. Mindblown guy isn't wrong. How did you even find your car? That always baffles me. How do they find their cars? Why do you have your TV remote with you? I'm guessing she thought she was still in her living room. I guess what we have here is another form of... Why is there a steering wheel in my living room? What exactly are your officers doing? You can't pull over my couch. <laughs> So as it turns out, she was driven home by a family member, so she didn't actually have to spend the night in jail to sober up. Probably would have taken her more than 24 hours, but hey. I don't want to be like this person. Mm -hmm. like... Well, the, the first step is admitting that there's an issue, right? So and if, if we're at that point, that's, that's a good step. That's a good first step. Have you seen the movie What About Bob? Yeah. Yeah, so baby steps, okay? What the actual hell are you honking your horn about, stupid train operator? What the fuck is wrong with you, mate? Who the hell does that near and near a bloody suburban area? Is there something on the track or are you just crying for attention? Who would have thought the big train he's driving would be enough? That's what we need to take is baby steps. So the first baby step is going to bed and trying to sleep it off. Second baby step is contacting Lighthouse on, on Monday, okay? Okay. All right. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. All right. Well, best yeah. of luck. Call us if you need anything, okay? Do you need help getting your pups in the house? No. All right. They're going to be out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll All right. get out quick so they don't want to Thank you. Yeah, I wish you luck, ma'am. Take care. No idea why she called the cops after, you know, about the incident that she was drunk. And uh, maybe she needed to inform the officers that she was drunk. They know, lady. They were... There. We all were. There. Now excuse me while I go find that bloody train operator and kick his train. Bloody hell. What the hell was that all about? Look ma, I'm driving my train. Honk honk. What the hell are you doing? You stupid dick flute. And on that off the track kind of note. <laughs> remember to tickle the bell and all things around it. And I will see you next time. Uh, bye bye. Stupid trained guy whistling through my bloody video. How very dare he. Name, you realize your sunglasses are on upside down?